Inspired by the classic ARP 2600 synthesizer and packed full with vintage flavour, this plug-in or standalone delivers an incredible sound with a fun and engaging interface. The CA2600 by Cherry Audio is a powerful, self-contained monophonic and duophonic synthesizer with vintage correct multi-mode filters, fully CV controllable effects, LFOs and very intuitive patching, plus a lot more advanced features. Thanks to Cherry Audio for sending us a copy of CA2600, it's been a lot of fun to use in this video. So today I'm going to test it out by making two different sounds. The first one is a bass and then a lead. Let's check it out. First, a quick intro to the CA2600 by Cherry Audio. You have three voltage controlled oscillators that can produce a variety of waves that you can see here. Now you've probably noticed that there are places to put cables, but they are not in use. However, the sounds are still audible. That's because the CA2600 uses a concept found on the original ARP synths called semi-normal patching. This means the connections all have an invisible patch by default. This is then overridden and replaced if it is patched by a cable. If you have a look, you can see an adjacent orange box, and this tells you what the default source is if there is no cable plugged in. So for oscillators 1 and 2, the pulse wave is normal, and on oscillator 3, it's the ramp. Down here, you can see the orange label telling us this is the slider for that routing. Now to demonstrate how the semi-normal patching works, let's change the wave of oscillator 1 by simply adding a cable from the wave we want, a choice of triangle, ramp, sine and pulse, and patching it over the existing routing. And of course you can patch these cables to any of the available places that are conveniently highlighted. The CA2600 really excels at making arps and leads, but that doesn't mean we can't create some interesting bass sounds. First I want to make everything simple and begin with a sub. Another quick way I can do this is by jumping into the many cool sounding presets and dig out the simple sub preset. There's plenty here that you might want to have a play around with. Now I can start editing this sound and see if I can make something interesting. Just going for something really simple here. I don't want the video to get too long. First let's maybe drop the octave and we can add a little bit of glide if we want. Now I'm going to look at the other VCOs and I'll add some extra layers. Maybe test out some of these FM sliders and let's try and come up with a thicker bass sound. Now I can move on to the voltage controlled filter. There's a high pass, low pass and band pass modes that model the early ladder style filters that the old ARP synths used. Ok I'm happy with that now, so a quick tweak of the ADSR here and I've already got a usable bass sound.
Let's get a bit more creative though. There's a lot of different effects and voltage processors down here that can be used for anything from simple effects to a lot more advanced routing possibilities. But today I'm just keeping it easy. So let's just add a little bit of distortion to this bass sound. And then finally to round this sound off, let's add the all too familiar wobble by using an LFO. You can find it down here. Here I'm going to sync it and choose what type I want to use. You can route this to different places, getting different results. My favourite is here. And remember, this is still a very simple sound and you can spend a lot of time experimenting with different cable placements and patching setups. Great thing about the CA2600 is you can't really go wrong, so just jump in and have a go. Experiments is probably the best way forwards. Okay, so let's try making a lead this time. First I'll press new and reset the uh, the patch. Now the bass we made was monophonic but the CA2600 can also be set to do duophonic allowing us to play two pitches or notes simultaneously. I can change the setting here and then I can set where I want the second CV to go producing the second note. I'm going to put it into the second oscillator. OK, so for now I'll mute the third oscillator so that you can hear just the two notes together. You'll notice that one note goes to one oscillator and one note or the other pitch goes to the other oscillator. They don't both get played through together. So now I'm going to have a play around and create a better sound. Um, let's add some more layers, bring back in the other oscillator to see what we can come up with. Okay, now I've got a starting point, I can add some distortion and of course some delay and maybe change the reverb a little bit as well. And like the bass sound, I can use the filters and the ADSR to shape the sound further. And this is just a simple example of what you can achieve with the CA2600. You can see there's lots of things here I've hardly uh, even touched on, like the ring modulation and the several voltage processors. There's a lot of potential here for advanced sound design. This is great for beginners and for advanced users. And let's just have a little bit more of a play with this sound. So to finish off, let's try the sample and hold here 
and turn this lead into more of an ARP sound. I think the CA2600 is a great synthesizer that's capable of some huge sounds. It's a good entry into the world of semi-normal patching and a lot of fun to use. I hope this video has inspired you to have a go at patching some of your own sounds. Please slam the subscribe button. Thanks for watching. There's more links than that in the description below. See you next time.